request that. Thank you. Namaste, Namaste, everybody. Today, the technique or the topic is about tip of the nose meditation. Looking at the tip of the nose. I don't know whether uh, any of you have practiced this. There are Many, many techniques, many masters have given us and many have benefited from different techniques. So technique is not important, but whichever takes us to the purpose, to the goal is fine. So we should see how it can benefit us. Unless we practice, like you cannot learn swimming, in uh, online, right? You have to jump into the water, then only you really learn. Same way, we are all now meditating for months, years, many of us. But how many different techniques you have used? You should never get stuck. That is always what I would like to say from my little experience. Experiment, but not every day, not window shopping. Experiment and see what gives you. And there are very important techniques like this, what I'm going to talk today. You have to see that for a long time, then you will know everything like that. And not exactly days, 21 days, 42 days. Yes, that's a minimum needed to change our subconscious reprogramming. But beyond that, if we really want to taste what it is, we have to do it for a long time. Apart from sitting here, we should spend some time, how much time you spend on the 24 hours for our own sake. So, many masters have told about this and guided. I have also practiced. I have learned from my master. And I find that even Buddha has used this technique. He said, uh, you know, uh, there are eight parts, right? Eight rules, he says. Right conduct, like that. Right thinking. Now here, right remembrance, samasati. So that is the essence here, in fact. So we all know what is meditation is all about. How to? Manaprasamana upaya, yogaha, sage vasishta said, and what our Padanjali Mahashi said, chitta vritti nirodaha yoga. Real yoga is stopping the wandering mind and clearing completely no good thought, no bad thought, thoughtless state. How to go to that samadhi state, ultimate samadhi, highest. So that is the purpose of all this. So Ashtanga yoga is for that. So same goal. And some of earlier sessions I talked about, we have practiced home meditation. There also I told you to watch, watch not only just chanting. So everything conscious breathing we do like that, consciously if you are doing anything, we get result. So bringing more and more consciousness into life is really meditation. <laughs> so here, even like Buddha, there was another Chinese philosopher, some of you would have heard, even I think in spiritual tablets, his books are recommended. Lao Tzu or Lu Tzu, L-U-T-S-U or Lao Z, differently spelt. He's a Chinese philosopher who lived probably more or less at this time of Buddha, that is sixth century BC or so. His philosophy is known as Taoism. Tao Te Ching, he's the author of that. Taoism or Daoism. And uh, even he said, just look at your T 
tip of the nose, like that. So, how to do it? We'll explain before that why, how it works. Let's understand. See, various meditation techniques, as I said. Now, for example, open eye meditation is done by some people like Brahma Kumaris. You are only just opening, keeping the eyes open always, saying nothing, no focusing or anything, just like that, keeping the eyes open. And by practice, you may go to the thoughtless state, whatever depends. And majority of the meditations, we close our eyes. Now let us understand the difference between the two to appreciate this technique, what I am going to attempt. Right. Now, if you keep the eyes fully open, what happens? You are living in the duality. You are, you are seeing the world. So distraction, all will come. So there is a duality between your thoughts and the outside world. So inner world, something is happening. Thoughts, outer world, something is happening. So you are stuck in the duality. You are neither here nor there. That poss possibility is very much there if you keep the eyes open. So maybe very few would are really benefited. And otherwise, we don't know. People will say, but we just believe somebody and believing is different, experiencing is different. First, of course, belief system only, starting point, the right conduct, right thinking, fine. Now, if you close the eyes, what happens? If we close the eyes, now we are practicing that regularly. What are all the possibilities? Will you stay away? Go to meditative state. We all know what is third eye. We talk about Ajna Chakra activation. That's the purpose. And in the open eye meditation, what is told us? God is here or you are here. Not God, actually. You are here. God is somewhere else. You are connecting to the God. Like uh, Christianity, what they say. Christ is the son of God. He is not God. Like that. So there is someone else you have to look up to. And this is the connecting point. But from the time immemorial, all the sages, everybody knew the value of this point. So when you are able to connect, stay there. <clears throat> Definitely, we connect to ourselves. So if you close your eyes, the possibility is you are stuck in the inner world of dreams and thoughts. The moment you close, thoughts, 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 flood. All meditators have experienced gradually to have come down. But no state, no thought state. How many could achieve, as Padanjali said, for that? That's why he has prescribed Ashtanga Yoga. He knew it is not a simple thing, just like that. So who really wants to achieve that, you have to follow the rigorous discipline of Ashtanga Yoga. Now, the two eyes create the duality, as I said, of the world and thoughts. But there is a single eye between these two, which create the gaps. So thoughts come, thoughts go, keep on flooding, right? And uh, today uh, people have explained how many thoughts per minute and all that. It's okay. technically, theoretically, yes. So what can be done for that? So here. Osho has used this technique. He has used like Vijnana Bhairava Tantra, 112 techniques, all he has used and many more. So he also says what Lao Osho said. So he applied this and gave the technique also. So I am using liberally his teachings also here. And he is the motivating force for me to 
try this. Plus, of course, my other masters have guided me on this. So this is a wonderful practice, but only you have to do it sincerely, taking some time for that. So how do we do? First, we have to understand how to practice that. Say, so talking about love also, Taoism, Buddhism, and our Eastern wisdom, there are no difference. We all believe in karma theory, right? There is a concept even in Taoism, karma is taken in them, all those things. And the Taoism, the fundamental is the harmony between nature and myself. That is, as again, I go back to Swami Vivekananda, control your nature internal and external. So here the naturalness, spontaneity and freedom from social conventions and distress. This is the fundamentals of Taoism also. Simplicity, spontaneity, instead of reacting, acting like that. So, Osho has looked at it and he has explained how to practice this. So, the third eye, what we call as Ajna Chakra, and the tip of the nose is in the same line, right? So you would have seen the Himalayan master, our Baba. <coughs> His photos, you would have seen. His eyes are not completely closed, but looking at the third eye. So the eyeball is looking up, say about 45 degrees or something like that when you close. So eyes are not fully closed, eyes are not fully open. So in between is the key. So you are in between. See, when your eyes are open, it is the young energy. The masculine energy is there when eyes are open. When eyes are closed, the feminine energy in will be there. So we should, we need both. It should be the balanced one. So when the eyes are neither closed fully nor fully open, in that position, what happens is light enters there. So allowing the light to enter is real meditation. So it happens. So this gets activated in meditation. Uh, but <coughs> it is not focusing here. Like in Anapanasati meditation, we say, observe your breath. Not concentrate on your breath. Two different things. Same way here. Suppose you are concentrating, focusing on your tip of the nose, you become strained. It will not be relaxing. So you feel this pain. You may not be able to sit. So in a relaxed way, we should be able to do it. So for that, we have to understand how to do it and Go to that relaxed stage. Then it will be wonderful. And when we do that, the light comes. What happens is purification, as Patanjali said, chitta vritti, our pineal glands, pineal glands here. Yeah. Also calcification is there. It gets decalcified. When physically, some people do. This again I have learned from another master, popular yogi. So we apply the turmeric, pure turmeric, you can apply. It decalcifies. We say fluoride, you know. Earlier days, toothpaste, always they talk about fluoride. Now, without fluoride only, you should use. Now, all later learning money. So, fluoride should not be there. Calcification happens. So, for that, even applying turmeric for some time can help physical level. So, all this can be done. It's up to us. You have the freedom of choice, but use with understanding why we are doing, not mechanically, anything. Then we start enjoying the life, right? Now, I remember the gestalt theory. The psychologists who are using this gestalt theory. This word is coming even in Osho's teaching. That's why I'm just telling about what is gestalt theory. Gestalt theory emphasizes that whole of anything is greater than the parts. The whole of anything is greater than its parts. 
So when you do this or this, you should see that there is something beyond. This is only a means. It is not the end. That's the point I got from them. They just told there is no proper English translation. Probably it's a German word. Changing the gestalt means the way a thing has been placed or put together. So you can change the gestalt. So by this practice, you are changing the gestalt, right? And what our uh, Osho says is how to do this is you have to fixate. This is not concentration, but fixating contemplation. Contemplation is happening, fixating first. Now, the, again, going back to the Hatha Yoga is practiced today. All even main big ashrams, many places Hatha Yoga is practiced widely. But Hatha Yoga is what they are doing. You are preparing the body mind by preparation, preparation, so many things by postures and all that pranayama, everything. But Having said that, where do they reach? There is a fixation. You are fixating, but there is no contemplation there in the end. What for you are preparing? You prepared a beautiful house, neatly furnished everything, but you shut your door, main door. And what's the point? No guest is coming. Guest is waiting outside the door. So you have to allow the guest. That is what I am talking about, the light. So contemplation is light, allowing that light. So when you think of the thoughts, so what, as Patanjali has given many things. Here, fixating how to do. So thoughts flood. Thoughts come and go. <coughs> that is why our uh, Osho said, Fixation without contemplation is circulation without light. Contemplation without fixation is light without circulation. That's why he says, like other yogis, the calamity that happens to the so-called yogis, they don't let the light in. Whereas contemplation without fixation is light without circulation. There are other people, like only closing the eyes, yes, will come, everything is fine, like that. You don't prepare your body and mind, everything. No foundation. So that means you are only thinking of the light. You are not really allowing the light. If you have to allow the light, you have to prepare. The window should be open, door should be open. If it is shut, how can it enter? Is there. So, here, you are only thinking of the light, think of the gush, imagining thousand things about the gush. Oh, who is like that? Oh, like God's explanation. People explain in different ways God. But you are not letting in. You are not giving a passage for that because the house is not ready. So both are not advisable. So we have to take note of this both then we can really enjoy this. How to bring in light and after preparing and sit in a very, very relaxed. And one more point to note here is we have to, in many meditation, there's a sit relaxed. Okay, fine. But if you sit with spine erect in relaxed position, spine erect doesn't mean like a military man, like a bodyguard, no. Spine alone is straight. All other parts are totally relaxed. So spine straight. Many of you know the advantage. When you sit straight, the spine is straight, aligned, alignment happens. Your muladhara chakra, where your kundalini power is posited, your bioenergy or sex energy, it has to rise up. So when you sit straight, then only the energy will go up. So you are using the bioenergy, converting it into spiritual energy. So they both meet, it happens. So sitting straight, 
then doing this will be more advantageous. So there is a reason behind it. Sitting upright, but comfortable, relaxed position. So today we will do relaxation first, then practice how to do it. So upright certainly, but don't make it uncomfortable. Otherwise, again, you will be distracted by your discomfort itself. So here again, you know, thoughts will come. The discomfort, so our thought goes there, mind goes there. So distraction goes on, goes on. You know what will happen. The mind is like a traffic. See, always road full of traffic. Our mind is also like that. So one thought comes again, next thought, next thought, like that it comes. Having said that, there is a small gap between one thought and the next thought. Like our breath, when you inhale and exhale, between the two, there is a small gap, tiny gap there. So watching that gap is really the technique. There exists the power. God is in the gap, we say. If you look into that gap deeply, learn how to do it. It becomes bigger and bigger expansion and ultimately the gap is much more. So the mind, you know, what is traffic? Now when you watch traffic, you look at from a distance, from the top of like me, I am on the 13th floor now, watching at the highway from here, far away, I see vehicles go, 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 go. So I see only movement. One after another, one after another, one after another. So if you keep on seeing there, you see only the movement, but are you able to see the gap? There is a gap really, but are we seeing it? We don't observe that. If it is not there, accident will happen. Same thing here also. Though we have millions of thought, dear friend, there is a gap between each one. So we have to just observe from where the thought is coming, one thought, just keep watching, watching. And where it goes, and where there is gap, the next thought when it comes. It comes, comes and goes, comes and goes, like clouds come and go, come and go, like that. So there is no collision here between the two thoughts. That is why this is a beautiful technique. It is most scientific, too. Each thought has its own boundary. Each thought is definable. But the procession of thought is so fast, so speedy, that we cannot see the gap unless you are really waiting for it, searching for it. So contemplation means changing the gestalt, as I said just before. Changing the gestalt. A moment of no thought should come, a state of no thought an interval, a gap. That is the real purpose of this. So ordinarily, we look at the thoughts. One thought, another thought, another thought, another thought. But when you change the just thought, you find the interval there. Your emphasis is no longer on the thoughts, but on the interval now. But one must not stay sitting rigidly, then there will be an issue, right? We have to sit in a relaxed position. I repeat this again and again. So we have to learn. And masters, when you practice this now, I'll guide, of course, looking at the tip of the nose. You can see, close one eye and look at the nose. You will see the tip of the nose, right? And close the other and see, still you can see the tip of the nose. Now the technique is looking with both eyes. So it may be strengthful in the beginning for the beginners. As you practice, you will find again, you are not focusing with eyes fully open and focusing like that. There is no focus here, as I repeat. You are seeing. So in this, your eyes are not fully open, not fully closed too. Like that, when you practice then we get the real results.
<coughs> now how to practice i'll repeat one second how to practice this now thoughts are coming even when you relax for many if no thought comes you already become patanjali <coughs> yogi right so i don't want to say yes i don't get thoughts it happens anybody it's okay so in all other practices also we say watch 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 what become a witness watch the watcher he reach that state then there one thought will be there i am meditating om or something or breath one thought but ultimately no thought state should in that is ultimate so here also you are watching the gap in that process expanding the gap for that see relaxed way relaxed way so neither open eye meditation nor closed eye meditation relaxed way you are looking at the tip of the nose this is the technique used so here let us go for deep relaxation first sit in a comfortable position if you are not done so far keeping the palms open or in a mudra i been talking about any mudra this also okay any other mudra is also okay are you relaxed are you comfortable but palms open is always better not like this then you may not receive the cosmic energy because this area your palm inside is more sensitive than here you see the skin heat how you can this is more right which stand sensitive also even a small ant sits on that you can feel so this is where we receive so like this like this for any mudra of your choice ready and closing your eyes take a deep breath like that repeat at least three times deeper comfortable inhalation and full slow exhalation continue at least three times now bringing your awareness to the body parts you can go for deep relaxation energy flows where your attention goes all of you are aware you are practicing so like yoga nidra in sitting or lying down whichever way you are comfortable first relax your awareness on the toes relax the left foot big toe relax first toe left foot relax second toe relax third toe relax left little toe relax relax your left soul relax the upper portion of the foot relax your ankle left relax relax left calf relax left knee relax left thigh muscle relax left hip joint relax whole of your left leg is now completely relaxed now move your awareness to the right foot big toe relax the first toe relax next relax next relax 
Little toe, right foot, relax. Right sole, relax. Upper portion, relax. Right ankle, relax. Right calf muscle, relax. Right knee, relax. Right thigh, relax. Relax your right leg completely now. Feel the relaxation of both the legs from hip joint to the toes. Now move your awareness to the left hand. Left thumb, relax. Index finger, relax. Middle finger, relax. Ring finger, relax. Left little finger, relax. Palm, relax. Back of the palm, relax. Left wrist, relax. Left forearm, relax. Elbow, relax. Upper arm, relax. Left shoulder, relax. Relax the whole of your left arm. Relax. Awareness on your right hand. Right thumb, relax. First finger, relax. Second finger, relax. Third finger, relax. Little finger, relax. Palm, relax. Back of the palm, relax. Right wrist, relax. Right forearm, relax. Right upper arm, relax. Right shoulder, relax. Relax the whole of your right hand from shoulder to fingers. Now both your hands are completely relaxed. Now bring your awareness to the pelvis. Relax. All your abdominal organs. Relax. Back of the body starting from the tailbone coccyx region relax vertebra by vertebra moving up relax lower back mid back upper back relax relax your shoulder blades relax your ribs Relax all your abdominal organs moving up. Relax your lungs, heart, thymus gland. Relax. Relax your neck muscles, front of the neck, back of the neck. Relax your throat. Externally and internally. Relax. Relax. Your mouth, tongue. Release tension from the root of your teeth. Relax your lips. Chin. Jaws, your cheeks, feel a smile on your face. Relax your nostril. Observe cool in breath, warm out breath.
Relax your ears. Relax, relax, relax your eyes. Right eye, left eye, eyeballs, eyelids, eyebrow. Relax your forehead, right side, left side. Relax, sides of the head. Relax, top of the head. Back of the head. Relax, completely relax. Now glance through the body from head to foot. Totally relaxed. You are completely relaxed. Now, bring your awareness to the tip of the nose. First, watch your thoughts. Thoughts come and go. Just observe the thoughts. This is the first step for centering. You should be sitting comfortably, relaxed. Stiram, Sukham, Asanam. Just watch the thoughts coming and going. Just observe. One thought, then another thought, then another thought, but there is an interval and another interval. Now gradually shift your awareness to that interval, the gap between two thoughts. The gap is the door to the divine. That gap is contemplation. If you look into that gap deeply, it starts becoming bigger and bigger. Now your eyes should not be fully closed, slightly open, and both the eyes are looking at the tip of the nose. Do it in a relaxed way. Don't strain. If anyone feels the strain, you may close the eyes and try again. Repeating. If thoughts come again, just examine where the thought is, where it began, where it fades out, observe. This may take time, but do it. Thoughts are part of us, built in, it's okay, because of the programming. So 
Fighting the thoughts is not a solution. If you fight, you forget the tip of the nose. That is awareness of the third eye. The circulation of light, you will forget. And everything will be lost in the jungle of thoughts. So don't chase thoughts, then you are lost. Don't follow any thoughts. If you fight them, you are lost. So the secret, as Buddha said, right remembrance. Just remember this thought has come. See where it is with no antagonism, with no justification, with no condemnation. Just be objective as a scientist is objective. See where it is, from where it is coming, where it is going. See the coming of it. See the staying of it. See the going of it. As thoughts are very mobile, they don't stay long. So you have to simply watch arising of the thought, staying of the thought, and the going of the thought. Just a silent observer. The more settled observation becomes, the less thoughts will come. When observation is perfect, thoughts disappear. There is only a gap, an interval left. This fixing and contemplation are like two wings. When there is an interval, no thought is coming, that is contemplation. When a thought comes, then just look at these three things, where the thought is, from where it has come, where it is going. For a moment, stop looking into the gap. Look at the thought. Watch the thought and say goodbye to it. When it leaves again, immediately move back to contemplation. When the flight of the thoughts keeps extending further, should stop and begin contemplating. Start fixating again. When thought comes, fixate. When thought goes, contemplate. It means circulation of light. The circulation is fixation. The light is contemplation. Comfortably looking at the tip of the nose with slightly open eyes allowed to happen. Do comfortably you are at the tip of your nose.
when your awareness is perfectly on the tip of the nose, you are exactly in line with your third eye, which is few in just above. It's attraction, gravitation starts functioning. Just remain alert, awake. Just be. You are exactly on the boundary of the inner and outer. And that's the point. To be on the boundary of the inner and outer means you are neither male nor female in this moment. Your vision is free of duality. Your vision has transcended the division in you.
you are into the line of the magnetic field of the third eye. You are allowing the light to stream in of itself effortlessly. You are losing the identity of two eyes. The light that is streaming from your eyes becomes one, falls on a single point. Where your two eyes meet, that is the place where the window opens. Then all is well. Then let it be. Then simply enjoy. Simply celebrate. Delight, rejoice, there is nothing to be done, just be.
masters slowly slowly start coming back to this existential reality physical reality where you are bring your awareness to your heart center from the bottom of our heart let us offer our gratitude to the universe to our parents to everyone and everything around us helping us in our souls journey every moment feeling a great gratitude thank you thank you thank you for all that we have let us be grateful including this stage and facilitating the group vibration even though physically each one of us are sitting in different parts of the world the consciousness is connected oneness we are feeling with this attitude of gratitude let's continue our day to day life days routine what has to be done with the feeling of gratitude so whenever you are ready placing the palms on your eyes for a few seconds i'll count 1 to 5 at the count of 5 you may open your eyes 1 Two, three, four, five. Thank you, thank you again, all the friends for facilitating this wonderful day. I trust all of you have. benefited from that thank you parmeshwar sir thank you beautiful session as usual